This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them thinking, see them analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Many give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors, the GME, Rico conspirators that are still naked, shorting GME, they're not doing it because they want to. They're doing it because they can't get out. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. I'm just telling you that there's nobody that is shorting GME, naked, shorting it, or, or, or regularly shorting it, or doing it with uh, a clear conscience, okay? They do not want to be in the play. They wish they could get out, but they can't. They can't. They created too many counterfeit GME shares. They pushed them in the market to illegally manipulate the price, and now they can't get out. They all know with, with GME sitting on over $4 billion, there will be no bankruptcy. As a matter of fact, I, I believe, and this is just my opinion, and I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell any GME shares, but I believe Ryan Cohen has some big, big news coming. I believe he is about to do some great things with GME, and I believe that, that the new investments... It's going to change the dynamic of the company and make the stock price run. Okay? Just my opinion. But anyway, here's the numbers that they're reporting. We know these numbers mean absolutely nothing. Um, the volume, 97,902,792. We know that those numbers mean nothing at all because these bad actors do whatever they want with the stock and we can't see the dog pools. We can't see the other exchanges where they're trading GME in order to manipulate the price. Calls in the money, 75811 And at $30, 37793 We know these numbers are absolutely incorrect. Because two days ago, when Warren, when Warren Kitty alone, when Warren Kitty alone had 120, okay, 120, thousand gme call options in the money they will they will listen they only had about 40 or fifty thousand gme call options in the money so we know that this data is manipulated just by the fact that roaring kitty alone had more call options in the money than they were reporting okay it's absolutely crazy what they're doing and the thing is when when i hear gary genza complain about resources is needed to protect the market it's absolute nonsense all you have to do is look at the numbers how could Roy and kitty have 120 thousand call options and you're saying i mean in the money and then you're saying there's only 40 or 50 thousand call options in the money makes absolutely no sense it's further evidence evidence that the data that they're releasing to us is is tampered with it's tampered with okay anyway at thirty dollars, there's additional thirty-seven thousand seven hundred and ninety-three. But even with these numbers, and these numbers are lower, well, I believe they're lower than what the real call options in the money is or are. And even with these numbers, which I believe are extremely low, we would be looking at a gamma squeeze. But because these bad actors can keep lending the same shares over and over again, because they can talk to their market maker buddies. To create more counterfeit shares until the sec steps in or the liquidity runs out or the cat system exposes them they're gonna keep doing what they do but like i said before anybody shorting gme right now i don't think they're too intelligent and then 46.2 percent of that volume was shorted shares so somehow these guys found 48 million new gme shares to short into the market yesterday and manipulate the price where did these shares come from where did they originate can we see the chain of custody can we see the blue sheets of course we can okay what what they're doing is, is this is obvious to anybody with common sense okay it's obvious what they're doing it's obvious it's counterfeit shares it's obvious the purpose is to manipulate the price it's obvious 
it's criminal activity. Okay? So the SEC can't claim they don't know. The FBI can't claim they don't know. The DOJ can't claim they don't know. I mean, it, it, it's too obvious at this point. And then, and then, to add insult to injury, these guys are claiming after adding 48 million new counterfeit GME short positions and not covering the ones from the days and weeks before, that they can cover all their GME short positions in less than three hours of trading. Okay? In less than one third of the trading day. So by, what's that? By 12 o'clock today, they can cover all their GME short positions. How does that make sense? I mean, the fact that they put out these numbers that make no sense whatsoever is further evidence that they really think we're dumb money. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think anybody who's shorting GME right now has to be an idiot or they just can't get out because they're trapped? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.